Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and I'm back with another quick video. Um, I have a tutorial that is coming your way um, probably sometime near Christmas as a present to you guys. But um, this is the uh, clear DMG Game Boy that I got. Um, I got a pretty good deal on this. Um, so as working I believe, but there's some problems with the LCD and in the uh, video that I'll be putting up, I'll show you how I fixed the uh, lines on the screen, how I biverted the screen, and then finally how I programmed a uh, RGB backlight controller. Um, and so this is fully done now. And as far as like the physical case, uh, there's nothing modified. There's no uh, holes I had to drill. I ended up using a touch switch. So I found this off eBay. Uh, it was really cheap. It was like, I think a dollar or something maybe for two. Um, so I'm just using a coin cell here. And so this is a capacitive touch sensor. So you can see, maybe, you can see as my finger gets pretty close, not even touching, it'll uh, sense. So this is pretty sensitive. Uh, it works really well, actually. Even like me touching the side of the board, it'll trigger it. And most importantly, it's absolutely tiny. And just three wires, it does everything for you. So I knew that when I was uh, modding this, I didn't want to drill any holes or do any physical modifications other than the screen by version. So I ended up uh, using one of these sensors and I put it up in the corner here where you're normally not going to have your fingers anywhere near. So you won't accidentally change the color. So I'll do a quick demo here. Uh, I just have uh, Pokemon Gold in here. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you the... Uh, exact color because uh, the camera can't actually capture that well. <laughs> so you can see as I kind of tap the corner of the display I can cycle through preset colors. And once you turn off the power, it'll save it. So I'm on uh, white right now. Turn it off. It's still white. I can go to red. Uh, it looks kind of orange, but I assure you that it's red. Remembers that it was red. So there's red, green, blue, which is really hard to see in real life too. Um, aqua, which is very nice. Uh, this is sort of a cyan. Uh, purple, which is kind of hard to see, but it's it's visible. Uh, pink, which is a slightly lighter shade, which is also kind of hard to see. Uh, yellow, which is very vivid and easy to see. Let me just start this. Let me just turn that down. Um, there's orange, which is a very nice hue. Uh, and then finally white. So you can see if I press and hold, I can get to cycle through automatically. But yeah, so this will make playing a joy. <laughs> finally have a backlit and um, I can assure you that it's really crisp. Uh, the buy version is amazing, honestly. I never thought um, the screen could look this good. I think the highest contrast color is uh, this yellow here, uh, between yellow and green. You can see all the individual shades. That is absolutely amazing. You can see here. Uh, there's still some screen blurring, but that's just kind of inherent to the uh, LCD technology. Uh, nothing I can do about that. But yeah, you can see everything works perfectly. I'm able to cycle through all the colors. I probably will end up doing the exact same thing to um, to my Game Boy Pocket. I have a clear Game Boy Pocket that I started working on many, many, many years ago uh, that I never really got to finish. Um, so that'll be sort of uh, what I'll be doing with that. So you can see everything works. I measured the current draw. It's Depending on the color, it changes, obviously, but it's around 12 to 13 uh, milliamps. 
So compared to the current draw, the actual Game Boy itself, it's like maybe one-tenth the power draw. So I'm expecting this will minimally affect the uh, battery life. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to do. Uh, everything still works on this unit, and it's absolutely stunning now. So yeah, this will be my uh, my go-to Game Boy. Uh, comfortable, nice and chunky, uh, fits in my hands really well. Uh, yeah, awesome. I love the touch switch, um, so I don't have to, to do anything. It's pretty sensitive, so I mean, I can kind of get on the corner there and it'll still detect it. You can see it flashes red when it actually uh, detects a positive uh, button press there. But yeah, you can see everything works and it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'll be putting up uh, pretty much a full like 40 some minute video of the entire process of me modding each step and an explanation of what I'm doing and how to do it, as well as uh, where I got all my parts from, um, I'll put up a schematic and the source code for the, the microprocessor that drives the RGB uh, backlight. Um, and I have a description and I'll have a, like a short segment in the video of me explaining how the code exactly works. So yeah, if you guys uh, like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll have uh, plenty more videos coming up. And um, yeah, look forward to, I, I will thankfully be able to go back home for uh, Christmas break for about a week. So I, I've had a couple people very interested in me taking apart an N64. So once I go home, that's where both my N64s are. So I will be doing a teardown of that. I'll have this video of the uh, build process on this Game Boy up. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe some other mod videos or something if I get the time. But I might not, you know, it's a holiday season. I, I got to spend some time with the family. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for everything that you've done for me. Uh, thank you guys for using my eBay affiliate links and helping me uh, to, you know, pay for some of these mods and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.